بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از فواد ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل فیوچر آن کلاؤڈ اینڈ ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین جنریٹ نیٹ ورک اور انٹرفیس یوٹیلائزیشن رپورٹ اور پرٹیکولر نیٹ ورک ڈیوائس ود کرافٹ سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ آفٹر لاگ ان آن سولر ونڈ کلک آن مائی ڈیش بورڈس اینڈ آن سمری پیج In summary page, I have couple of network devices. You can select any particular device. Let's say in my case, I can use a servo switch. And then click on performance analyzer. In performance analyzer, just remove these default and next. Click on interfaces and select the interfaces which you wanted to monitor. So click on the real-time polling and select packet receive in BPS bits per second and packet transmit in bits per second. You can have two different graphs or if you want you can accumulate in the same graph. So the preferred is better to go with the accumulate graph and, and this way you can save the space of your report as well. packet transmit and bps just drop drag and drop on the existing one so it will change the color just remove this one likewise if you wanted to see the availability of this interface you can also drag and drop it um, but if the utilization is there it means the interface is available so no need to add at least in this demo in your case if you want you can have it and click on the next interface and then likewise take it receive in BPS and then packet transmit in BPS likewise for other interface packet receive in BPS and then packet transmit in BPS so I'm just pausing my video until I complete the rest of the interfaces then I'll come back again yeah I have added all my interfaces as you can see here um, the long list of interfaces which I have added I just wanted to show you I have added the trunk link interfaces as well and just to get the, the detailed view what I will do is I'll, I'll try to get that for last 30 days so let's see how it looks like so this is the traffic pattern of last 30 days across the interfaces so now the next step is you need to save that that file whatever you have so now what i am trying to give you my name as server switch interface utilization and click on save So this is for last 30 days. So now we need to generate a report by using this template. Click on setting, all settings. Manage reports. Create new report. And here you need to select a chart. Go into the last page. and here you can see the report name or the template which you have created it is available here just select that radio button and select add give it a name Here if you want you can change the date or days. Let's say my guess I want to select it for 30 days. And here you can see. I wasn't able to Don't worry about this one then because it is generating in real time so that's why it faces some difficulties. Uh, add it in my favorite if you want click on next 
schedule it if you wanted to send through email but uh, I don't want that because in some case you once you schedule it once the time happen it immediately send that report even the report is being generated or not because it is fetching the data from the database it took some time to generate that report but prior to generate that report the SMTP is activated and it sent that blank report so better not to schedule it you can generate it manually because it takes some time to generate it just preview the report see it's taking some time it's because it's fetching the data from the server so click on last 30 days okay and just remove the columns the server switching to the situation and click on yes. submit we'll just publish it as it is On the left side, you can see the bandwidth. Bandwidth utilization, packet received and send. Or trunk interfaces. Here you can see in GBPS, 3 GB, 4 GB. So if you wanted to print it, click on print and save it in the PDF form. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.